Hey challengers, I don't know why I've never ever thought to make a video like this, but I wanted to make it quick so that hopefully I can remind myself to put it in our next challenge group too. But I want to let you guys know that when you are doing your before photos, I know that they are scary and we hate doing it and sometimes we don't want people to take our photos. I would highly recommend, even if you have to set it up on a prop, that you take your before photos in front of like a clear backdrop. So even if it's a if it's a door, something to where you can see your full body from head to toe. Why? Because there's something with Beachbody that's called the Beachbody Challenge where you can win a hundred thousand dollars. Now that's just something amazing on top of everything that you're gonna achieve in this group, but wouldn't it suck if you lost out on $100,000 because of your before photos, before and after photos? So have someone take them, try to use a good camera. If, I mean, iPhones and Samsung, they're usually good at it and everything. And make sure that you save them because you can always use your very beginning before photo and continuously update your after photo. But go behind something um, that's completely clear. And I wanna show you something too, because when we do our side photos, Sometimes what happens, so I always do, haha, <laughs> never been active on my video before, not in here. So for the front photos, you know, have your hands, maybe you have um, feet shoulder width apart, have your hands by your side, that's one photo, and then you have your arms up flexing. When you go on the side, I always call it the genie look. I go like this. Why? Because if you have your hands here, you see how much blockage it is showing from your stomach to your back? So when you are making those changes, and if you have your hands here one time or your hands by your side, you can't really see the difference. So put your hands out here so that people can see, you can see your difference. And then for the back or whatever, again, hands down by side and then up and flexing. Um, so, that's how you should do your before and after photos. I have my kids take my photos um, if I need to and stuff. Otherwise, prop that camera up. Most everything has a timer on it. And get amazing before and after photos because you are going to be thankful that you do. I hope that that helps you with that tip. And you guys have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful day. See you later.